My Bloody Valentine, the remake versus the original. Which one is better? Let's find out. Round one. 20 years ago in the mining town of Valentine Bluffs, two supervisors leave five miners in the mines to attend the Valentine's Day dance. But they forgot to check the methane gas levels, which results in an explosion at the Hanniger Mines, trapping five miners. Harry Warden, the only survivor, resorted to cannibalism to survive and went insane from the ordeal. The next year, he murdered the two supervisors who left their post the previous year, cut out their hearts, and placed them in Valentine candy boxes with a note warning the town never to hold the Valentine's Day dance ever again or he will commit more killings. With the legend of Harry Warden nothing but a distant memory, a group of young miners and their girlfriends decide that the town has gone without a party long enough. Unfortunately for them, the killings begin signaling Harry Warden's return. Ten years ago, an inexperienced miner named Tom Hanniger caused an accident that killed five men and put a sixth, Harry Warden, into a coma. A year later, on Valentine's Day, Harry woke up and murdered 22 people with a pickaxe before dying. Now Tom has returned home, still haunted by the past, and something else is back in harmony. A pickaxe-wielded killer in a miner's mask, who may be the ghost of Harry, come to claim Tom and his friends. The stories are pretty similar, with the original leaning more heavily into the holiday, where in the remake, Tom returns home to Harmony because of his father's death. I like the reveal of the killers in both movies. I do like the twist with the remake, but overall, I enjoy the story, atmosphere, and the holiday theme of the original. Round two. In the original, these characters are good friends who want to drink, party, and have a good time. Unfortunately, there is some drama within the friend group. When TJ left for the West Coast, he left behind his friends and girlfriend Sarah. Upon his return back to town, he finds out that Axel and Sarah are together, thus creating a love triangle between them. Similar to the original, upon TJ's return back to town, he finds out that Axel has married Sarah. Unlike the original, I didn't feel like these characters were good friends before TJ left town. I feel like the characters in the remake don't really like each other. It fits the tone of the movie, but for me it doesn't get me emotionally invested in any of the characters. Sorry Tom Atkins, you're still the man. I really liked the characters in the original. I thought the friend group was a lot of fun, and you could really tell that they hated seeing TJ and Axel at odds and I just felt more emotionally connected to these characters than I did in the remake. Round three. Let's face it, the point of a slasher is the kills. The 80s were a great time for slasher films, especially the early 80s, which the original was made in. And I have to say that this film has fantastic kills, with this one being my favorite. The remake is actually surprisingly violent. Although there's some CGI in places, I was pleasantly surprised with the kills. The remake and the original deliver when it comes to kills, but overall, I have to go with the original. What can I say? I'm a sucker for practical effects. Last but not least, the showdown of the slashers. I personally think that the miner is an underrated horror villain. I love the portrayal in the original, but I do think that the remake adds a little bit more viciousness to the minor, which makes him more intimidating in the remake. As you can tell, I personally prefer the original My Bloody Valentine over the remake. However, I think the remake has an interesting twist, good kills, and a better pacing for the modern audience. So let me know, which one is your favorite?